Hi, this is Bill from HowToVanish.com. Recently, some law enforcement officers have been taking cell phones and searching them during routine traffic stops. They take those phones back to their vehicle and they download all of the data that's on that phone. For most people, their cell phone contains a lot of personal data. It has text messages, voicemails, their call history, uh, even their contacts. Some people might even have emails or even more sensitive stuff on their phone. So giving police access to that phone gives them access to a lot of information. Now normally, the police aren't allowed to have access to that phone unless they either have a warrant or they have your consent to search it. Now, of course, in most traffic stops, most police are not going to have any kind of warrant. So they need to get your consent before they search it. And fortunately, you have the right to refuse to give your consent. You don't have to hand over your phone and even if they are very persuasive in getting you to hand over your phone, simply stating that you do not consent to any searches should be sufficient to prevent a search of that phone. Now, if they demand your phone anyway, and if they search it anyways, even though you stated that you don't give your consent, there are still ways you can protect some of your information. With encryption, you can encrypt as much as you can on your phone. Now, unfortunately, there's no really good solutions for that right now. Most phones are very different from each other. Some only allow encryption of certain parts and others of other parts. A lot of times you need to use a third-party application that only works on one phone or another to encrypt different types of data. But for your type of phone, look up different ways to encrypt the different types of data. How to maybe encrypt the email or limit access to email. How to encrypt text messages and things like that. Uh, for example, Text Secure from a company called Whisper Systems can encrypt your text messages on your Android phone and encrypts the storage of those text messages. So every phone is going to be a little bit different, but a lot of them are going to have some, at least some kind of encryption app that you can get or encryption ability to prevent the search of your phone against your consent. Now there's other ways that you can prevent having your phone searched against your consent. You can possibly use call forwarding services. That will keep a lot of the data off of your phone so that it can't be downloaded by police in a traffic stop. You can regularly wipe your cell phone. And again, every cell phone is going to have a little bit different procedure for doing that. You can also use a prepaid cell phone and change it out regularly so that the history of things that you've done with your cell phone is only as, as old as your cell phone is. And if you're regularly changing it, you won't have that much history. And one of the more extreme things is just don't take your phone with you. It's a personal tracking device, so if there's some errand that you can run without it, it might be good to leave it at home sometimes. The best way to prevent the cops from searching your phone in a traffic stop is to just refuse consent. Don't let them search it. This is Bill from HowToVanish.com. Use your powers for good.